Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brad from Braggio. Hello. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Glad to sink. I did that. You did. I wasn't paying attention. No, you weren't. So shut up. Except yeah, well, for this bit. How was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> it was quieter than usual. My ears are, aren't ringing this time. <laughs> no one's ears are bleeding. <laughs> so how was your week in Yu-Gi-Oh, Ben? It was three, three uh, on a scale uh, of... I, I don't know. I went alright. Um, since I was yes, finished, I've been playing uh, Goblins. Ah. Goblin Bikers. Um, my experience from Locals this Tuesday was I got hit with so many hand traps. <laughs> Yeah, people haven't really scaled down their decks from YCS, I feel, so like they're still prepared for the snake eyes and the branded matchups, and they're just like, ha ha! <laughs> I ate like two to three hand traps every hand, and was just like, hmm, this, this, is, this is a lot harder to play through. <laughs> like, <laughs> when you don't have one card combos, it makes it a lot harder. At one point, I was like, okay, I have three ways to full combo, get impermed. I'm like, I still have two ways to full combo, get ash, and I'm like, I can still combo as long as he doesn't have Nibiru. Get Nibiru. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> okay, this, this is fine. Um, yeah, the deck, the deck's fun though. Um, I just kind of have two decks built at the moment. So I have uh, Snake Eyes Infernoid built and uh, the other stuff that sits over here, the Goblin Bikers. Um, luckily, neither of the two decks require any cards from the others. <laughs> Perfect. Um, so yeah. it's going to be a case of I can just have both built and play whichever one I want whenever I want to. Whatever I'm feeling on the night, I can just be like, this is the one I want to play. <laughs> I'm sick of getting hand trapped. I'm going to play Infernoid Snake Eyes. Yes. A deck that plays next to no hand traps. <laughs> well, the Infernoids are the hand traps. Exactly. Diddy Crow on steroids. Yes. Diddy yeah. Crow after it punches you in the face. <laughs> um, but yeah, I had a fun time. Um, of course we had the YCS on the week before um, yeah. so just the one locals because we are recording this slightly early peek behind the curtains a little bit it's like a day before um, 2.59am watch us get like another five archetypes announced a second Sydney Surely YCS they, later they, I they surprise one day YCS because um, we'll get to that there the is news. a lot yeah brag uh, just Jules Cup that is all I've been doing Yep, I we'll be getting into that. that. Yeah, yeah, well, get onto it. Um, yeah. What are you playing in there? Snake Eyes? Yeah, just playing old Snake Eyes now, just tanking along, trying to win, sometimes winning. I've been playing Infernoid Snake Eyes. Yeah, it's actually pretty good as well. Not the Duelist Cup. I do need to change the deck. My my deck that I'm playing in Master Duelist, very unoptimized, very not skip your turn. I need to put the skip your turn stuff in. Yeah, it's just I probably need I probably should switch to something like that because without the Phoenix, it's so much harder to find games. Like you can, yeah. you still can. Like there's heaps of times where it's like, oh, and my Diablo Styles over there. All right. Well, I think I mentioned it either last week or the week before is that people have been adding in other engines just to supplement the damage that you can do. Yeah, but just find the room in the extra deck, even without, because then like you want to have Elf there, but then Elf doesn't. It's 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 a tough time. It's a tough time to be a Snake Eyes player. <laughs> it really isn't. It's the it's just there's so many times where I'll misclick, I'll dick around my usual choke points of oh he's hit cancel when he shouldn't hit cancel or going oh damn Poplar can't special summon off um Sunlight Wolf yes why and you're like have you read Sunlight Wolf I'm like oh yeah. To this day, I've not read Sunlight Wolf. We were questioned so many times on this last night. Bragg was like, this game must be bugged. <laughs> like, now, oh, one yeah. of them, one of them, like, sometimes, like, the pro the prompt, the popular prompt is sneaky. Like, its timing will come up, and it'll just be, uh, this is the right popular prompt. Ooh. But otherwise, it just lets you play so much. It's so good. And that's why it'll probably get nuked in two weeks. He's hoping. Nah, uh, they'll nuke everything else so that we have to play it. I mean, everyone already is a Master Jewel. It it's feels done. that way. It feels that way. And it's got most of everything. There's no real holdouts after this. The new stuff's okay, but it won't be. It's Salaman great stuff. Yeah. So that it can actually reliably OTK. Anyway, you, Jake, how was your Tuesday? Um, well, 
Moving back a little bit, there was a little bit that happened after our recording on the day of YCS. Oh, um, oh so yeah. I'm sorry. I yeah. we went back to the venue after the podcast. Yes. Uh, so they were watching along with one of our locals guys uh, while he was in the giant car. Mm-hmm. I was... You won uh, the giant car. Compl- he did. Bendy, um, bendy. I, yeah. The bendy one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I was going back to complete some uh, trades and sales that I'd made, just trying to find people, and I was struggling because there was still so many people in that goddamn room. And then they kept like taking away tables, so the compression of the people made it a lot harder to find the people I needed to find. Um, but I found it really odd because I was there for a good 15 minutes, if not more, and they were still taking regos for um, winter mats. And like, I was just running around this room, like asking people how I could find these other people. And I was getting frustrated. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm already here. I'm going to enter a giant uh, winner mat. Hmm. If I don't get in, like if they decide to cut it off, then I've gotten two packs. So hmm. it's whatever. So I entered the winner mat. Um, granted, my first two matchups were like handed to me. They were so easy. Oh. And so my very first game was against uh the 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 fake god and the fantastical god yeah so i moved on to hawkist yeah. for the winner mat um so first one was against phantasmal gods or whatever they're, they're called like yep. hamal raviel yeah um that was weird uh game one we both bricked really hard but i am bricked sooner game two uh he seemingly opened a god hand and had like um, Raviel and the other one on field on turn one mm-hmm. um, and my hand was garbage and then game three won um, game two was against Dinosaur um, I had made three misplays in my game one uh, but still an SP ended his entire turn um, <laughs> yeah and then yeah game three was a bit more grindy um, but it seeming it had seemed that he'd never versed Orcus before. Yeah. So the fact that a harp could like summon from deck during the battle phase to stop him from gaming me, like blew his mind. Mm-hmm. He's like, what? Right. Uh, but then I was yeah. a bit- What do you think his field spells are doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then, then game three was the one I was like, oh, well, this is where the dream ends. And I was versing Snake Eyes. I was like, well, if Branded can't beat it, I don't know what my Horus cards are going to do. Which is um, valid. But yeah, uh, seemingly played through what I need to play through and ended up winning the mat. Yeah. Um, and ended up getting the old school mat with like uh, Relinquished. Hello, uh, B to PSP? Yeah, that yeah. one. And then. Uh, which was the mat chaos. I wanted. <laughs> with some <laughs> tacos. We do not talk about Ferroni Guardian. Um, but yeah, that was the mat that I wanted to win out of all of them. Um, so super happy to have gotten that. Uh, later on, I also bought a box um, and pulled four secrets and four ultras, which is bonkers. Did they just not reprint for Onic Guardian just so we didn't get a reprint of Metamorphosis? Probably. Okay. Continue. There's also Maximum Crisis in there. No, sorry. Dark, dark Crisis. Yeah. <laughs> maximum Crisis. Yeah, it's a bit. <laughs> That's a bit of a jump. <laughs> Won't talk about for Onic Guardian, but happy to mention. <laughs> Ash Blossom was printed pretty early. Yeah, I was just saying, they just reprinted the box. It's just all Ash Blossom. It's just... Don't know what this set was before, but it's the Ash Blossom set now. Oops, all Ash Blossom. Um, four and secrets. Also, yeah, four box. secrets in one box. It was crazy. Were they good secrets? One of them was. Ah. <laughs> it was a low in there. Low. Oh, so yeah. like, But every other secret in that set is trash, so... Oh, Black Guy Last is a decent card. It's not amazing, but... It's $10. He likes this. It's closer to 20 Wait. If it's 10 okay. I'm buying him at 10 I'll, I'll buy my 10. Yeah. I plan to put it in my next iteration of Hawkist because I was sick of pitching imperms to put Horus monsters in grave mm. so I can use the grave effect of Black Goat. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Logical. Yeah. So yeah, if I end up making changes to that deck, I was into a profile. Uh, the only reason I didn't record a profile to uh, send you out is because there was one card change. I literally put in EMP Meow Mine as like a free summon slash discard. Never saw it, never used it, never came up. It's almost like when you can't search it in non cybers deck. It, exactly, yeah. It's just kind of there. Yeah. Well, the idea was solid. I think maybe if I played two of them, it may come up more. Because, uh, like... Uh, you'd rather just play the one if you see it. Yeah, like, it ends up in the grave, so it's fine. Um, and then, yeah, Tuesday, uh, I got into the finals, uh, again, with Hawkist. Uh, only change there was that I had to give back one of the Bestial Rebellions that I was using on the Sunday. Um, 
which is fine. You don't have a place for the billions? I think I only ever had two at most. What then, brand of fanboy is this? Well, branded only use one. You send yeah. it off brand of fusion and but that's it. What? If you open it, you cry. You don't <laughs> you discard don't... it to get another bestial? Hmm? You don't discard it to get a bestial? No. You just want it engraved to tribute the Albion to put your continuous cards. You don't actually want to search the bestial. So you're not playing a Sarani? You're playing one Sarani. So you can discard it to search Sarani? You can, but you still don't want it. But you can. You can, but you don't. Okay. Just the same. It's right there. It is right there. No one wants it, though. Poor Sarani. Even when it's the only main deck one, you still don't want to see it, apparently. <laughs> You want to see it some of the time, but not all the time. Even when it pretty much searches you your entire deck. It's like, hmm, sometimes. Yeah, I mean, it's a two-card setup to search your entire deck. Still, you can get to those other cards. <laughs> Just waiting for the reprint, I guess. It, they got a reprint in it, the Mega Tin. It did? But it was oh, t- Sarony, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was in the tin. Maybe. Ah, this was sure. common. No. We, need, we need common bestials to match the uh, Baldrake. No, Baldrake got an Ultra upgrade in the tin. Well, I don't have that one, so I want the... Wait, <laughs> Ultra! The rest are Supers! Yes. Yeah. terrible. Yeah, but then the other one's got Prismatic Secrets in the tin, so Baldrake is still the fat loser in the corner. <laughs> they should have given it an OTS Super. They're going to give him another Structure deck, aren't they? Just, just, just bestials, though. And the rest. Give them a quick launch that summons the um, level 4 bestial tuner from deck. Sure. Why not? I'd more dragons. More dragons. More yeah, dragons. Yeah, now that there's snake eyes everywhere, I'm actually like missing the dragons a little bit. Didn't think I'd say that. God. <laughs> it's only been two months. Three. Know. And then you get to play them again. But we'll cover that in the news. Yes, so, uh, starting with Master Duel, as Bragg mentioned, the uh, Duelist Cup is running at the moment at Stage 1. Uh, I think there's 3,100 plus gems on offer. Oh, I need those gems. Yeah. Mm. Give me those gems. Um, so you're playing Snake Eyes. You haven't played, but you will be playing some version of Snake Eyes. I played Turn Skip Snake Eyes. Uh, I was playing Snake Eyes. I had built in, ready to go. Mm-hmm. Uh, lost like my first five games to both my own interactions and my opponents just opening the nuts. Uh, and then moved on to Sword Soul and I'm now at DLV 18. Sure. Sure, yeah. Like, Sword Soul do be Sword Soul. You just can cruise along with that. I think the problem I had at the beginning is like, because I, like, I'm not working at the moment, um, not that I'm fired, just that I'm on holiday, um, I've went on pretty much straight away and like obviously everyone else like at a sort of high level was on at that point so Mm -hmm. they just knew the interactions better than I did perhaps because like I've only like watched how the deck performs so like certain interactions were still no 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 No, Snake Eyes oh you were playing Snake Eyes yeah at the very Uh, beginning I was playing Snake Eyes and I feel like they just knew Snake Eye combo lines better than I did and I wasn't really getting it properly Um, but now that I've like walked away from it and come back with Sword Soul. It's been a bit more fair. But then you just get, like, the dregs of people that haven't made it yet, like the Makunkos and the, like... Can't wait for my journey. It's, it's going to be fine. So many blue eyes, as Ca- always. Cash. I'm versing so many cash players. Yeah. And, like, I, with Sword Soul and Snake Eyes, respectively, you see them drop shifty, you're just like, ah. It's like YCS <laughs> all over again. I thought in Soul Soul you're supposed to be able to play around that You can shit. play through it, but like you lose so many of your resources for recursions. So if they have one to two extenders, like if they open um, Unicorn and Theosis and All Birth, then you're kind of in a shit spot. Okay. Sure. And like the standard Makunko game one game thing of like, haha, Kaiju, haha, dead. Yeah. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. <laughs> I, I, I hate it so much. I have a gun call myself. <laughs> it's so good. It's such an easy deck to beat in three games. Yeah. But when it's best of one, it just becomes cracked. Oh, I versed a Makunko player in the first winner mat that I did earlier on the Sunday. And he tried to... <laughs> so... I think you had this interaction when you versed Makunko as well, in that they think that their equip card takes straight away. And you're like, I don't think that's how that works. He tried to do that to me. Okay. 
Like, because it, it equips and it's if they have the other condition fulfilled, it takes. Yes. Yeah. So he, I think he had it in mind that like he, he equips and then activate. normal summons the Makunko and it comes straight over. But he'd done it in the opposite order. He had the Makunko on board yeah. and then tried to equip and tried to say that it takes immediately without giving me a chance to respond uh, to the activation. Yeah, okay, okay, I'm okay, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. And like at that point, I was still playing branded. So I was like, uh, Mirror Jade will banish the Makunko. You ain't stealing shit. <laughs> So yeah, non-target. That's, that's where that is. Um, non-target, yeah. Piece of shit. It's mirror jade. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's where Master Duel is at the moment. So um, yeah, yeah, quite a week otherwise, right? Hmm? Quite a week for it otherwise. It's just all cut. There's no other news or expansions, right? Quite, oh, yeah. right. I hope that's a joke. Is it? Oh, for Master, do we mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, we ne- we talked about all that stuff while we're at YCS. Yeah. Like, they've released a couple new packs and stuff like that. Weird. Otherwise, it's just... How can there be two days and no news for Master Jewel? What are, what are we doing? They've got lots of news for the main card game, which we'll get into now. Wasn't that um, Master Bamis? Did we cover that? Yeah, we talked about that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, we've gotten uh, announcements of a lot of archetypal support, some new, some existing. Uh, we'll start with the newest one, which is Fiendsmith, uh, a bunch of light fiend support. Um, so, these are the next, in the... These are coming out in the Infinite Forbidden. Yep. Uh, so, they only have the one main deck monster. Um, they also are just generic, any light fiend triggers their combo. Yeah, so... Uh, Unexpected die, full combo. Yeah, for what was it? White Dustin? Yeah. 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 Um, so they get, yeah, the one main deck monster, two links, one link, link one, which summons the level six from deck, and a link two, which fusion summons. Mm. Uh, and then a spell, two yeah. spells. And then a whole bunch of derivative fusions. Yeah, the fusions, yeah, there's two fusions, and they, neither of them seem. Super great. I think one of them is in the game, but only one has an equip or something. I haven't read into the fusions that much because most yeah, of the not game, what, yeah, if it, it <laughs> does, it equips two. Something like that. It equips links from grave. Yeah. The main reason I don't know what the fusions do is because most of the time I see them get linked off or made into the um, Wave King Caesar Xe for yeah. negates instead. Yes. It does just shit out Wave King Caesar. Yes. Yeah. Very happy about that. Um, but yeah, um, few decks that I've seen that going into, like the clear one is Magical Muskets, um, cause they need help. Uh, and then Fable Explains why they're getting the reprint stuff and... Yes, which, um, yeah, we'll get into in a second as well. Um... I thought we covered that last week. Oh, we talked about them getting reprints, but there's other news, Ben, which also hints at the things that are happening. Okay. Uh, so we'll move on to that now, uh, which is the announcement of the Drytron support. Yeah. Which Ben has read very thoroughly. Yes. <laughs> it's called Dad. One of them is called Dad. <laughs> That's the only word that I read. I mean, makes sense. Um, so they get uh, another level one, um, which isn't nearly as restrictive as the others. No. Uh, if there's a Drytron card on the field, special summon it from the hand. Uh, and then I think, yeah, if it's special summoned, add a Drytron monster from deck to hand. Oh, God. Yep. Uh, and then you get, uh, Medionis, uh, in English, it's apparently going to be called, uh, Drytron Medionis Alpha Draconids. Uh, but in Japanese it is Drytron dad. Medionis equals dad. <laughs> Catchy. Uh, so this one is a level 12 ritual, uh, mm-hmm. 5,000 attack and defense. Mm-hmm. Um, other dry trial monsters you control cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Mm-hmm. Up to twice per turn when your opponent activates a monster effect, banish dry trial monsters from your graveyard whose total attack equals or exceeds that monster's original attack. Uh, Negate the activation yeah. if you do destroy that monster. So they need to have... Okay. Uh, and then if it's destroyed by the opponent, special summon one ritual monster with 4,000 attack from your hand or deck and it's treated as a ritual summon. Yeah. Um, so you can summon the two archetypal ones or, because it's funnier, you can summon uh, Chaos Max. Of course. What? what? How much attack did the level one have? Uh, that level one, I think, was zero zero. Oh, two thousand zero. Yeah. But they recently had a level seven, which is also an extender, which has I want to say twenty seven hundred attack. Okay. That's because it's 
technically an Osoctic card. It's both. both yeah, up. but it, it has an Osoctic it's attack. It's both up. Sure. <laughs> um, and then they also get a trap which lets them Ritual Summon off They're turn. They're not going to play it. No. Ritual Summon off turn? Ah, uh, yeah. How useful. I mean, the recursion effect's not bad if you're using what I'll call this um, is Dry Ton Dad. This is Infinite Forbidden, yeah? Yeah. yeah, cool. This isn't the other jewels pack. All right, cool. No, no, no. Um, so yeah, it's got the ritual summon off turn effect, but then it's also got if a Drytron card or cards becomes banished, tribute one Drytron monster, then target up to two get banished Drytrons, add them to your hand. You've already read so, too many Drytron cards for me. It's alright, you're not going to remember them anyway. And you will have to learn what they do eventually. Nah. I think you might. I'll just wing it and win. I think I've gleaned enough sure. information on them now, I can now comprehensively beat them. I'm um, sure you can. Make sure there are no cards in the graveyard. They don't, yeah, they don't just lose the soul release thing. True. The soul release their monsters away. It's like, oh, your negation does nothing. I'm glad soul release is back. Yeah. It's just easy. Oh, yeah, I lent my soul releases to someone. I don't remember who. If What's I lent my soul releases to you, I need them back. Seb. What? Has, Seb has one of them, I'm pretty sure. No, I don't think he had my soul releases. Oh. Because he, he was like, oh, I don't need him. He didn't need him off me anymore. But maybe, maybe it was me then. Maybe you got him off someone else. Ah, A nice. secret third party. I remember Jake? instructing someone to get them. You lent so it must have been said. Have you lent soul releases to anyone? No. You lent your soul away? You sold your soul for nuggets? Next point. <laughs> So, uh, the current archetype that's getting a lot of uh, hype and uh, talk in the community at the moment is the announcement of the Gimmick Puppet support, uh, which has enabled a one-card FTK. Woo! Get excited. Uh, so they get, I think it's three main deck monsters, two Xyz, uh, a field spell, which is kind of like um, okay. Meltdown on crack, uh, searches on activation, and then while your gimmick puppets are on the board, they can't be destroyed by battle, and they're also unaffected by opponents activated non exe monster effects. So you can't nib them, you can't ash them, you can't veil them. Yeah. Imperm good though. Imperm gonna have to be your out. If you let shit get out of hand, Imperm needs to save your ass. Uh, so yeah, you'll have no shortage of videos that you'll be able to find on YouTube about how that FTK works. Um, it's very basic. It's just pop three monsters your opponent controls that you gave them. Yeah, it's um, not ideal, but here we are. Uh, and then finally in the announcements of new support, this one is coming out in a new set, um, which I can't remember where the name for it is. You say, you say. Yeah. Legendary Jewelers of the It's Light. the, the Jewelers pack. That's it, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, so this is Trick Stars getting a new bunch of support. Mm. Uh, so they get a couple of main deck monsters, a new fusion, a new link, uh, and then a trap that also does fusion stuff, uh, and some other Trick Star, but not Trick Star trap. Um, it well, gives them a bit of off, like, a bit of utility, because now one of them has, like, if you do burn damage, drop a monster's attack to zero, and if you do burn damage, you can destroy a card in the field. Or you so can just actually... reincarnation draw them. You could just do that. It's, it's probably the best play the deck has. Eh. Wait, um, Light Stage still a two? I don't know, I was going to ask this question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's still a two. We just should have always known it was going to come back to Trick Stars when they announced the Light um, Attribute Jewelist pack. It's so like It's such a, like... Couldn't have been anything else. I mean, could I could have gone. I could have gone another five years without trick star support. The thing that confuses me about it, and it is like a case of why, because that wasn't her last archetype. She was playing trick stars. She got beaten by whatever his name is, Revolver. Yes, the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. got beaten by Revolver. Maybe not even by, by Revolver, gun, maybe by hand. Ghost. Was it the Sun Avalon guy? She got beaten by somebody. And then she fell out of the cyber world and then came back as the Marincess chick. Ah. Yeah, they're the same character. She just played two different archetypes. That's so, true. 
Yeah. You don't get to leave locals and then join the tournament halfway through with a different deck just because you're losing. I mean, that's not how the Vrains works, but I get I get what you mean. Vrains is just be, online locals. It would be the equivalent of Josh leaving for a little while, coming back, having, I don't know, dyed his hair or grown his facial hair or something, and playing, I don't know, a fusion deck. The, the answer was uh, the rituals, megaliths. Yeah, he, uh, he actually yeah. plays them. Yeah, he actually comes back and plays fucking fish or megaliths. Yeah, any of the archetypes that he said he would play over the course of the years. Trickstar Light Stage is at three. Is at three? Damn. Still the best play they have, Reincarnation Drop. I mean, they probably will still do that. It's just... Every time I reincarnation drawed my opponent, I felt so bad. That's what we should. It's cancer. Like, mm. I remember at one... It was yeah, the round days. I was leaving. So I, I intended to drop after the round at <laughs> um, WCQ that year. He did the Tom. This can't be good. So I was playing against Red Eyes, and my opponent Red Eyes incited. And I was like, sorry. <laughs> reincarnation draw. And then I just scooped and gave him the win. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's not that bad. He was like, why'd you scoop? And I was like, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> what is it? What playing trick stars would do to a man? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just quit this tournament. Yep. Little did I know I still had a chance of topping. <laughs> I just went on. I was like, uh, not well, this. It's not probably this over. Either. Scooped. And then later on, I was like, oh, if I had won my next round, I could have topped this event. <laughs> Then he stuck around when he had um, Arch Nemesis Protoss. Yes. Protoss. Protoss. Protoss Actually, yeah, Protoss, that, this Protoss. has just occurred to me. The amount of decks you play where it's just like a finite point where you just win the game straight up. Isn't that... It's astronomical. Isn't that all of yeah. you, Gear? No. I, 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 also, back, I, I also play to a finite point where I win the game. Or I lose most of the time. But this is the thing, like, there's, like, a definitive point to, like, his decks are wanting to end the game as quickly as possible. Yes. He hates the game. Yeah. I just don't like wasting time. Hates go. I like go. pressing the button that says win. Win, 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 win. And he wants to fight the, the opponent also pressing the win, 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 win. In a win-off. Yes. Uh, we don't know the, other, the third archetype. The other one's probably going to be the Tachyon Dragons for Jewels of the Lights. I imagine you're locking that because you're done with this pack. Oh yeah, I couldn't give a shit about this pack. Um, but oh. yeah. What will the third archetype be? Um, it'll be more Galaxy Ice. Cyber Dragon, maybe? Sure. Yeah. Maybe. No, if, it's, if Cyber Dragon's in that pack, it's on the body, like, it's on the art. So it's going to be, oh, yeah. it's going to be something shit. Yeah. Well, you on, can't let's... do Tachyon and Galaxy in the same one. Why not? weird are they not are they not the same well one steals the other oh okay i didn't watch um that's that fine. one you put them both in and oh. make them fight each other why am i scrolling up it's actually down there to go i'm yes. opening up the what could be another one to see if that gives us any clues yeah i don't know what that big drag in the back is it's probably like that's galaxy eyes mine is gonna be galaxy. um dark jet dragon Dark Jet Dragon in yeah. the, the Legacy of Light pack. Yeah. It's technically light. Hang on, what's that? What's what? That's... There's another Tachyon. No, because I thought this was the Tachyon. Oh, yeah. What the hell is that, then? Yeah. It could be anything. It looks like... Not, not taking the piss, but I'd be super excited if it was. That kind of looks like it could be a Metaphys. No, that looks like a Pendulum Dragon. Does anyone play Metaphys in anime? Oh yeah, true. It is an anime thing, isn't it? Yes. What would that be? Cyber it's Light Dragons. Mysticus. Surely they don't get more support. Cyber Light. We continue. But hang on, what what character is that then? Well, that's, the, that's the guy that has the Tachyons. Oh, that's the Tachyon guy. Okay. Um... It's weird that they didn't... It's Tachyonis. <laughs> anyway. Um, but yeah, that'll be interesting to speculate. I'm sure we'll get some more announcements. Yeah, tomorrow. In the coming weeks. Yeah, probably tomorrow. It'll be in some magazine right now. 
Uh, but yeah, we move on to our questions. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Our first question this week comes to us from 6R6. Uh, what are your thoughts on Konami's price structure for Rarity Collection 2? Pre-orders range from 315 to 370, uh, but possibly up to $430 retail. Buy the singles. Yeah. Um, at the moment, like, they haven't even really announced anything that's like, oh my god, we have to have it. Like, yeah. Ash Blossom was kind of that card for the first one, uh, and it's still the only thing that's really holding any intrinsic value from that set. Like, I mentioned just before that um, QCR Time Fake Redoer went for $9 on an auction. Yeah, some of those low-end QCRs are super oh, totally worthless. Do they put, like, your bonfires, your wanteds in this? To quick... Mm. Nah. I like, are they, they gonna, are they gonna... Are they gonna have something for the Are they agents. gonna gold rare... Like, what was that? Haunted Mine? It wasn't Haunted Mine. It was the one after. Are they gonna do what they did to Cosmo? That was Haunted Mine. Oh, no. Haunted, nah, Haunted Mine was Mine Gold was Series that. 5. Oh, yeah. it was premium gold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah they're gonna premium gold this. And I just... don't know if they will. Because there's nothing else. Like, that first one was really good and gave us most of the stuff. Uh, it's at this point that... I would like to take us back to a time in Yu-Gi-Oh when Premium Gold 2 was called Return of the Bling. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. How cringe is that? Oh, yeah. That's a Jerome special. I'm that is sure. a Jerome special, yes. Is that a worse set name than Fist of the Gadgets, or...? No, no, no. Fist of the Gadgets is great. <laughs> it's not. Yeah, nah, Bling's probably worse. Return of the Bling. Oh, God. Yep. I, so bad. I shut that out. Thanks for bringing that back. Actually, we could it not be 2010? Like, like they've been doing Time Wizard stuff. Shouldn't it be old staples? You'd think so, wouldn't you? Like, you'd think if you're continuously uh, pushing these old school events, that doing old school reprints would be great. And Second here Lights here we are. Fairlight Guardian reprint confirmed. Black Wings. I would take a rarity collection of just old cards. Yeah. Rarity collection, the ban list. I've said this before. You have said this before. Good idea. Some glad base in there. Oh, metamorphosis. Can you see our buy you? Oh, actually, yeah. Giving yeah, giving us all quarter centuries of the Black Wings would be pretty good. I should take my Edison cards out of my deck box because I found where they were. It turns out I had them in a the deck box. They weren't in bulk, so I could have taken them to YCS. Uh -huh. Um, I should take them out of that deck box, put them into another deck box, mm. a nicer deck box. Yes, I'm gonna finish the deck. My, my, um, the big Harak Olinos, that, that Gladiator Beast, just gone. I'm like, yeah, I'm probably shouldn't summon it anyway, the other one's better, but. It's just nice to have the option. Yeah. Damn cards. Why can't, why can't cardboard stay where you put it? And not where? Inhibited to you puts it. <laughs> Inhibited? Yes. Yeah. I got caught out for using the word um, fleed today, which I still haven't looked up whether it is an actual word or not. Fleed? Fleed. Like fleed the scene of the crime. Fled? Yeah, this is, yeah. I feel like fleed is colloquially fine, but anyway. Uh, next question is again from 6i6. Uh, hypothetically, because we don't have a card list yet, what Rarity Collection 2 card would you pay hey. $450 to $500 for? Metamorphosis. None of them. I didn't pay that money for Ash Blossom. I won't be paying it for anything else. Cool. I right, cool. No. no. I don't... As I feel like I just said, I don't know if there's a card that they could put into here that would be like, oh my god, have to have. Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, as I said, like, definitely upgrades of stuff that I would want for the old decks. But nothing that I'm falling uh, over. Yeah, I was going to say, like, even if it was for the old decks, like, I feel like the market for that is limited somewhat. Like, you've yeah. got people that want to obviously build Goat and Edison, but even then, like, that's a fairly small end of the market. Like, I'm also a fairly outspoken person of uh, original rarity is always going to be better than reprint rarity. So, like, especially with current reprint sets, money. especially like this, I'm just kind of like, nope. Like, the only card in last one that I was like desperately like oh I have to have that was the sassy golden lord yeah. in QCR because like otherwise it was a fucking gold rare 
I'll play gold rare gimmick puppets. Oh, because yeah, you have no other options. Just for the meme. Yeah. Well, you don't have an op- but not- option. I'm just going to play all gold rares. If gold rare is an option, I'll play the gold rare version. Um, but, however, no, there's no card that I would want in 25th. Metamorphosis. I pulled the, like, I wanted the cold buy, and I pulled it. So, I was like, okay, cool. Uh, next question know. is from Ragai. Uh, how much better do you think top decks, do you think top deck is compared to other tier 1 slash tier 2 decks in a given format? Uh, for example, is Snake Eyes beating Branded 100% oh, of the time or only 60%? No, no. I think he's getting it when you go to buy a chocolate. Um, yep. Is it Top Deck or do you buy a Plain or Caramello? Oh, I it's think Caramello. Well, top Deck over Caramello. I, what? I prefer Top Deck. No, I, I'm, I'm Caramello through and through. No, I'm not, I'm not, not for that. I'm not for that. No, no. Caramello. 100%. Top Deck's great. I'm uh, not disparaging Top Deck. It's just if I had a choice, it would be Caramello. I should have pre-read this question, because... Damn it. That's a good question. Uh, because... Well, that's the problem when we started calling Snake Eyes T0, where I'm like, yeah, it's real, real, real good, and it's really overrepresented. But it's not beating... Like, I'm not beating every game against cash. I'm not winning 100% of my cash games. Which is by design. Like... Because eventually you're just going to get shifted. Yeah. Like... like that's it. So that, that's your variance, is did they draw the shifter? And obviously, like, I mean, you lose a couple of brand and stuff. So yeah, like, this but isn't I, this isn't like Teledad where everything else literally sucked. Yeah, everything else kind of has a win con can find a, can find a lane. This, like, yeah. So I don't think it's that t- tippy top of a T one deck. But even then, if you go to T zero formats other than perhaps Teledad, like there were still other decks yeah. that could win. Yeah. And they were still considered T zero formats. Yeah, so then just ranking them based on that, like yeah. I, I wish I I wish I pre read this so you could come up with the percentage that I would like to aim. Like with the T zero has to be what do we agree on the Discord? Eighty sixty five for T zero is a bullshit number. That's a pretty low number. Yeah. Go pump those numbers. Yeah. We're talking like three other decks in top thirty two numbers. I'll come, we'll come back with numbers. We'll, we will come back to this question. What was our top 32 again? It was like a 60-40 like, split? Yeah, I think it was like 18 and 14 or something like that. Yeah, it was weird because like, it was like, other than maybe Unabranded only had one as well. Like, it was like 16, 16 one, 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 one. Because I think it was 9 and 7. Hmm. Viking and Pure. Okay. So I think it was a 16-16 split. Interesting. 50-50. Next question. Next question. Is there one? Yes. Yeah. Our last question is from uh, Frozen Actaline. What deck would you give to someone who doesn't play very much Yu-Gi-Oh or not at all? Do they? Ha- What's the budget? Doesn't have a budget. It's I not genuinely a, it's give not them a, Snake Eyes. It's not a like budget. That deck is so question. basic. Yeah. So this one, interestingly <laughs> enough, isn't like what budget option would you give to a new player? It's seemingly that Jeff Bezos has decided to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And he's like, I would like to buy a deck. There doesn't seem to be a price percentage on it. Are so, you sure on Snake Eye? Yeah. Did we not establish earlier that some people might prefer Sword Soul over that? So there are, weirdly enough, there are a few sort of very straightforward linear decks that people could pick up and do well with in the current ethos. Um, I was going to reference Brandon, sorry, that was not a one really of quiet night tonight. Yeah. <laughs> and as you thought that. <laughs> um, so yeah, Brand is definitely not one. Uh, cash, super simple, open shifter, you beat quite a few decks on that alone. Yeah, Wanderers, actually cash. Same reason. Yeah, birds. Flandries, yeah. Birds that, in, in the... Flandries be cheaper as well. Uh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Because cash, have they, have you've got to play this, for your friend well, Has um, Flandries gotten their quick play spell reprinted? Yeah, I think so. I thought it was in the Megatins last year. I thought it wasn't in the Megatins last year. Eh. It's cheap enough that Seb just has them lying around. He was looking for them for quite some time as well. Um, yeah, cash outside of maybe the expense because like Theosis and um, the planet and stuff aren't getting reprinted until Rarity Collection 2. 
um, Flunderies, although the set is like a little bit old now, so it's maybe more hard to find if someone doesn't want to sell you an entire core. Um, Sword Soul. Yeah. That, no, that got ultra reprints in the Magnificent Mavens. It's probably the only thing in that set that's still worth money other than the Pharaonic Rares. Who must remember Pharaonic Rares, by the way? Uh-huh. The Pharaoh's <laughs> Secret Rares? Yeah. Yeah. The shit. I wanted to pick at least one up. I can't the remember The Pharaoh which... Ultra is a fucking garbage, and that's all we got. Yeah, but I just wanted one. I think I only saw one. They were sitting at Good Games. You could get them if Yeah, you but I didn't them. want those ones. <laughs> <laughs> the one I wanted specifically, I think, was the um, Gravekeeper trap that nobody played um, with the Shizu on the artwork. I just like the artwork, so I figured I might as well get it in the highest of its rarities. Is it Gravekeeper's trap? That that might legitimately be what it's I, called. I, something I, yeah, stupid. Yeah, sure, it's legitimately what it's could called. Do, could do chain burn as well. Just a. Um, if someone's coming to the game, I wouldn't give them chain burn because it's like, do you really want to come in with that kind of energy? It does yeah. also require you to kind of know what your opponent's decks do. Mm. I it's mean, like but, but the <laughs> one locals when I played I was, chain burn, my knowledge of everyone else's decks had me just being like, oh. if you play one more card, I auto win this duel. Oh, you played another card, I win. Like, you can no longer win this game. <laughs> yeah, the other thing with chain burn is like, it's not just a knowledge of you. Your opponent also has to know how to play into chain burn. Yeah. Um, your opponent doesn't have to play in chain burn. Stop putting shit on the board. Yeah, just summon one monster <laughs> and attack with it. Yeah. They don't play monsters. You play one monster. Two if, two if you get hit with the, the Lord. Oh, the Lord, yeah. yeah. You can do Horus as well. Having like, it out the Lord is actually a huge fucking that's issue. That's expensive, though, I guess. Yes. Chain burn. Nah. Just play, like, I, the answer's cash, but cash is, has some expensive factors to it. You can pick up cash for under 200 bucks. Sword cash. Soul. That's your answer. Yeah, but my vote's Baron's, for Sword Soul. Baron's cheap now. Yeah, that's true. Baron used to be oh, a ceiling to getting into decks, not so much anymore. No. Cheap. Cheap, cheap. Um, but that does conclude us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are listening along, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Uh, do we have a poll for this week? Um, oh, uh, five cards was settled on as the uh, what constitutes calling giving a deck a name. Oh, five or more gets to a package. Runs. Yeah. You don't remember this? Five or more is a real low number. Well, it is to... quite a low number, yeah. Democracy, isn't it? That's wrong. You wanted seven? I wanted like 15. Oh, well, I didn't put 15 as an option. That ben might be only bad. takes big packages. <laughs> if you're not taking a big package, there's no um, point in getting any naming rights. I'm torn between best deck for newcomer, what's going to be the light monster, and there was another one that let's I Let's go with light deck. Light deck. No, let's split the difference. Uh, top deck, caramello, or plain? <laughs> oh, yeah, or shockies. All right, we'll go to shockies. <laughs> Uh, I mean, also there is, you can type in your answers for anything else and there as well, so. If you don't want to come to Discord, go there. If you just come to Discord, it's pretty good in there. Yes. Uh, but otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing your answers next week. Peace.